with even financially healthy airlines across the world staring at bankruptcies, it seems that the days of cheap airfares are over. Analysts say it will be years before any airline will dare to bring low airfares to fill planes. How has the aviation industry's mathematics gone wrong with the coronavirus crisis? Sumit Chaturvedi, my colleague, explained to us in detail. Visiting Thailand or Dubai was cheaper than flying to Goa or Kerala a few months ago. The ultra-low or budget airfares resulted in a travel boom in the last few years and it helped in turning the dreams of foreign holidays into a reality for many. From Mauritius to Malaysia, the budget or low airfares enticed many to explore the new holiday destinations with millions in India and overseas flying for the first time. But with the coronavirus pandemic striking the travel and aviation world, the dreams of many for foreign holidays may be over for now or delayed indefinitely. From low-cost, pocket-friendly carriers to full-service airlines, no one in the aviation world was prepared for a global crisis of this scale. The coronavirus pandemic has broken the backbone of the aviation industry and with this, it may be a long-lasting goodbye to the popular super-saver airfare schemes for pocket-friendly budget airfare schemes. Analysts point out that with the global travel and tourism industry taking a massive hit, aviation industry might be limited to the essential air or business and need-based travel for some time to come. The low-cost airfares are a result of competition among the airlines to fill seats fast. With many airlines ceasing to exist in future as a result of this pandemic, low competition can result in airlines resorting to collusion to charge high fares for higher margins. The low-cost airfares was also the result of budget travel that has now taken a massive hit with low-cost holiday destinations like Thailand and Dubai locking down the cities. Also, expensive loans taken for aircraft purchase or high lease costs of the planes won't allow many low-cost airlines to keep flying. Low-cost airlines that started in US and Europe were quite popular among backpackers or budget holiday goers and the model has been replicated worldwide. But with this pandemic, everything can change. Sydney-based Kappa Centre for Aviation estimates that many carriers might go bankrupt by the end of May 2020 itself. Based on the assumption that airlines are not grounded after the current lockdown ends on the 15th of April, estimates suggest the Indian airline industry, including companies providing auxiliary services like airports and ground handlers, could suffer losses ranging from $3.3 billion to $3.6 billion in the first three months of fiscal 2021 ending in June. But the situation can change. Seven, six, seven, max. Is the if governments pattern. across the world go for massive bailouts for the aviation and tourism sector, one such bailout is expected in India also, but that may not stop one or two airlines from going down under. That's it. Just off the coast of